Okay, so science is supposed to be able to predict. So I'm going to predict that uh, sometime between 6 and 7 o'clock, the, the moon and the sun will be the same height off the horizon. So uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying to be, uh, you know, a scientist that has done enough measuring and recording and predicting in the past to be able to get this down to a fine science, you know, but I'm just, so it's kind of a guess, okay, I admit it, between 6 and 7. Uh, you might want to, you might want to take a peek before 6 and uh, take a peek after 7, you know, because what the phenomenon that we want to really discover is uh, what happens before and after they, they get the same height off the horizon anyway. Um, we want to see. Uh, we'd like to see uh, mainstream science. You know, we'd like all of our institutions to not lie to us. We'd love to see the moon aim at the sun. You know, so it, it would be uh, at, let's just say, 630, okay, right on the money. The moon and the sun are the same height off the horizon. Well, at 6 o'clock, the moon would be aiming slightly up, and at 7 o'clock, the moon would be aiming slightly down. Because mainstream science says the moon's not a light, but it reflects the sunlight back at the sun. But uh, we're going to be able to see this today. We're going to be able to see the moon aim before uh, they're the same height off the horizon and after within just, you know, an hour or so. Uh, real comfortable. You'll probably be at the lake anyway. <laughs> and tomorrow I think we'll be able to see it too. The illumination today is um, 70, 72% or something like that. So tomorrow will be 80, 85. Today's... 75, tomorrow's 85. I don't know if we'll be able to see it three days from now because it's going to be in the 90s. And uh, that's just so bright that our natural eyes will bloom it out and make it uh, look uh, like a circle, perfect circle. Even though it's not going to be a perfect circle, we'll see a perfect circle. Okay? So today and tomorrow, these are the days to study. And these are the days, uh, uh, well, today is, is a, a Sunday. You, you know, you're at the lake. You don't have to work. Look at the moon. Look at the moon. Look at the aim. See if it aims up, uh, you know, across. Should aim straight across at the 3 o'clock position. You know, like if there was a clock around it. I'm not saying time, what time it's going to be. I'm saying uh, it would aim across, parallel to the horizon, when the, the sun is the same height off the horizon as the moon. That's what it should be. And then, of course, aiming up and down. But... Um, you weren't, you're not going to see that. You're just going to see the moon aim up, just like it is the whole time. See the shadows at the bottom. The shadow blends in with the same colors uh, of the sky. If it were blue, it'd be blue. If it were white, it'd be white. But just, just think of aim. Aim is the main thing right now. When you get the concept of aim, then you'll see that the moon aims up and down at the same time. The exact same time the moon aims up and down, you'll realize we live under a dome. Love you.